Hello, my creative friends. So today I thought it would be cool to show behind the scenes of how I edit these videos and um, how I create them, kind of what what are some of the tools I use and just practices and things that I do that kind of help me create like really quickly. So let's just jump right into this. All right. So up first, I want to share how I'm like recording these and like the little circle you see here. Um, there's like different sizes of circles you can use or like that full screen one. Um, and this is on Loom. So it's loom.com. And then you can see here, like this is where I just do my videos, upload them. And that, well, it uploads it this itself and then also what's really neat is loom is an app you can put that app on your phone and you can even record your screens on your phone so like that's what this one is that i did here uh recently so loom.com really awesome really easy like affordable it's great i record my screens have my little picture here la 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 Another awesome, I guess it's an extension that I use is called Mr. Horse. And I can show you how I use that in the videos, but this is the website. So it's mrhorse.com. And then this is where you can get like presets. Like you see here, like sound, what is it called? It fell out of my, my head. Transfers. I'll show you, I'll show you. All right. So. I design or do my videos here in Premiere Pro. So if you go window, extensions, and there's a few extensions. And these I got off of Adobe Creative, the Creative Cloud, like you can go in there and grab extensions that go with Premiere Pro. So let's see, Premiere Composer, and this is where the Mr. Horse stuff is and like so it's got like all kinds of cool presets transitions this is what I was looking for that's the word and let me show you just a few things you could see and then it has like the little sound effect and you can change like the colors and stuff um, you see here, like there's a split. So I'm just going to add this on top just so you can kind of see. So you would add that right on top there, right in between. And sometimes you do have to like zoom in just to make sure that it's right on that cut. So like, and so let's say you wanted to change the color. You would just double click here and then you could move this around whatever color you want and there you go so that is how I put all these little different see the word fell out of my head again transitions this is how I put the different transitions in here um, and then also here, like my covers, I make this in Photoshop, save it as a JPEG, just pop it in here. And originally I was doing three seconds, but nowadays, like we're just being told like everybody's attention span is like now it used to be like three seconds and now it's like 0.5 seconds, which is crazy. So I might change my covers to start at two seconds and then go into it. But I have like a little transition that brings you into the video. And yeah. So this is, I just wanted to make this really quick, just kind of show you like behind the scenes what I do. I can always do like a little bit of a longer video later to like really get into everything. Um, so some of the music clips that I've used are from epidemicsound.com. So yeah, make sure you're using commercial free stuff. So there's that. Alrighty. 
I hope that helps. If you ever need anything else, I also do creative mentoring. You can go to my website and I'll link that here. You can set up a call with me and I'm always here to help you along your creative journey. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.